Chelsea's estranged husband accuses her of being physically violent. You know, I am getting sick and tired of these stories of um, physical abuse that's happening in relationships. When is enough enough? You know, I will say this though before I even get into the details provided to us by uh, E Entertainment or E News, shall I say. I will say that there are so many people in this world who need to go and seek help. Okay, they need to get a therapist or someone. There's so many people in this world that carry trauma that allows them to do things that they should not be doing, allegedly. Now, let's get into it. Now, it does say here that when it comes to, well, it says after the Sunset Selling Star, aka Chelsea, filed paperwork to end her, her and Jeff's seven-year marriage, <clears throat> he submitted his official response April 2nd, requesting possession of the Manhattan Beach, California property. Okay, all right. Now, also includes here by saying that written in support of his application obtained by E News April 4th, the managing partner said he wants exclusive use of the property in part because Chelsea has allegedly been exhibiting suspicious behavior and several of my personal items within the property have gone missing or have been relocated since she filed for divorce. Hmm, interesting, interesting. But let's get into it. Now, he does say that he used, did try to reach out to Chelsea's team, but Chelsea's team said no. Oh, well, didn't know, but obviously, you know, they haven't responded, which makes sense because this could go to court. And if this goes to court, well, definitely she needs to be careful what she says from now till then. Because obviously anything that you say from now to then can always, you know, obviously be used against you in, in court. So it makes sense why they haven't heard back. Now, it does continue here by uh, talking about how, um, well, it talks about their children, Madison and uh, Malay here. And uh, obviously, because they've got kids, this is the situation, isn't it? It says, alleged that they have been times with Chelsea, when Chelsea would start an altercation with me only to pull out her cell phone and record my response, as if to try and catch me speaking in a hostile or aggressive manner after provoking me by a uh, derogatory or disrespectful to me. And you know what's so sad, though? Um, that people can use phones to record people in the act of doing something that's generally bad. Or people can use things to basically try and catch someone out in a way where they have forced that person to look a certain type of way. And it is sad though, isn't it? That obviously it does come with both pros and cons. But here's the thing though, I think you have to be very lucky if you catch somebody recording you, but they're trying to catch you in the act. But here's the thing though, this isn't to say that uh, this man doesn't have a history of necessarily being aggressive towards her. You know, if anything, what she tried to do, maybe she tried to do it because generally this is how he is in heat our arg arguments. So therefore she wanted to force something to get evidence. But again, should you force something to get evidence? Absolutely not. You know, because uh, why? Why put yourself in danger? If you are afraid of somebody, right? You will not provoke them. You know what I mean? Just to record them, even though it may put you in danger. So to be honest with you, I don't think people should ever do it in a way. It, it, people should never do it in a, an intentional way to catch someone out. You see what I'm saying? They should just do it if it when, when it's happening and you're lucky enough to grab your phone or anything that they record. Fair enough. But that's just my thoughts on the matter. But it continues here by saying, in the past, Chelsea demonstrated that she is capable of being physically violent and aggressive. The filing noted, for example, about a year ago, Chelsea struck me in the face, breaking my glasses and causing a small cut on the side of my face. Hmm. I have never put a hand on Chelsea in a physically aggressive way. See, here's the thing, though. The only question that you have to ask him is, did you take a picture of your face at the time? Now, that would be able to take the picture of your face and also the glasses. Just taking the picture of the face and the glasses. Here's the thing. The good thing about doing that nowadays is because your phone will tell you when you took the picture. And uh, therefore, it will obviously identify when the glass were broken and also obviously when the incident happened. Without that, really and truly, this is just a matter of he say, she say, sadly so. But this is obviously how it works, isn't it? You know, but um, and this is why I would say if you're in a situation where something has happened to you, keep record. You know, whether that's ringing the police. Or whether that's taking pictures okay keep records some way i would say generally speaking you could note it down but noting it down with no evidence may not necessarily you know work that strong in your favor just what i'm saying so taking a picture that has a record is always going to be key unless of course you note it down on your phone and your phone maybe you know records where you noted it down then maybe that work too but pictures are definitely always you know the best way as well as also you know reporting the person to the police it continues here by saying uh, jeff went on to note that he doesn't believe it's in the best interest of the children for him and Chelsea to live in the same home. Absolutely. 
absolutely whether or not these allegations are true or not these two definitely should not be in a position where they are living together because clearly whatever's been happening between these two is not healthy and no kid should be exposed to such behavior because it's nothing but disgusting now obviously here just to summarize I mean, just, just to obviously you know cool down the conversation it does say here that chelsea who met jeff on tinder in 2015 two years before they said i do filed for divorce in march um citing in Every, every, I can't say this block club. What I do apologize. My start comes sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I do apologize. Uh, differences according to TMZ. After this video, I'll go back, read it again, and I'll actually say it. <laughs> Eric is, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> he said he learned Chelsea had filed for um dissolution of marriage when he received a text message from the outlet on March uh, on March uh, 27th, leaving him stunned. As Chelsea's divorce proceedings uh, continue, please keep reading to for more updates. Yes, da, 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 da. so here's the thing. Right now, we only have small information regarding the allegations that are been put towards Chelsea, of course, by Jeff. So I think it's a matter of now of waiting to see obviously what else comes out. And the more information that comes out, I guess that can give us a better view of who to believe, whose side we should be on. Because I think when these things do come out, we have to be careful about who we decide to believe. Because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, when we don't have enough evidence or we have very little evidence, you know, it's only fair to wait for more rather than to jump to conclusions, you know. Um, but hopefully... Um, the situation will be resolved in, in the best way possible that works for the children. That is the main thing. You know, that's something that we also have to remember, you know what I mean? Um, but hey-ho, we have to wait and find out. And of course, if it does go to court, then obviously I'll keep up to date with you guys and let you know what's going on. But with that being said, though, let me know your thoughts and your opinions and uh, we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.